Welcome to QueenOn7.com. Please like and share my videos. Today we're going to learn about the third part of acid, base and buffers. We have actually explained uh, acid and bases in the previous two videos. Uh, buffers are actually is a kind of solution between a uh, weak acid and a salt. Uh, if you're using a strong acid, uh, strong acid actually completely dissociate, so there will be uh, a higher risk to control the reversible reaction. So that's why we use a weak acid or weak base uh, along with the salt to make sure that it controls. It doesn't actually control the pH, it minimizes the effect of the pH. So it will reduce it, uh, but it's not going to entirely remove the effect of the change in the pH. So we can uh, have an example of a uh, a small uh, acidic buffers which can be prepared by a weak acid and a salt. Uh, the example you can use is carboxylic acid is one of the famous one ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid uh, will uh, going to uh, have another of a salt CH3, CWONA, and this combination uh, will actually reduce the or minimize the effect of the change in the pH during the chemical reaction. Now, if you look at it, uh, this will dissociate uh, weakly, whereas this one. Uh, produces acetate ion or uh, ethanoid ion in the solution. Now, what we're going to do, it, for example, if you do a chemical reaction and you have actually added a buffer in uh, the solution, uh, and suddenly you you are going to add a pH uh, or add H positive ion, which will change the pH. Uh, the buffers from here they have a job to reduce the effect of H-positive ion. So both of them have got different role to do that. If you have aren't ad adding H-positive ion, that means you are going to add an acid in the aqueous solution. One of them should have to tackle this H-positive ion, which is causing the change in the pH. So in that sense, the acetate ion or ethanoid ion will react with the H-positive ion and that will reduce the effect of the uh, pH change. So CH3, C double O negative, and it will going to react with the and H positive ion come from the acid, and that will produce CH3, C double O H. Now, it's not gonna make much difference uh, as in the concentration of ethanoid ion, because you always have the highest concentration of the salt uh, in the buffers. That's why uh, the, the, there won't be much different uh, difference in the concentration of the, uh, the salt and the acid itself. But what if you add an alkali? If you add an alkali in the solution, and this is the buffer you have actually have in the uh, solution. Now, alkali means you're going to add OH negative ions. So some somebody has to come and actually uh, remove these OH ions from the solution. So what's going to happen is you have H positive ion in the solution, which will come from the acid itself. So CH3, CWOH, the acid, is going to produce more H positive ion. And that H positive ion is going to tackle the extra OH ion been added and it will produce water. Now, because it's a poor dissociator, it's not going to produce much of the H-positive ion to tackle all the hydroxide ion. So, in, in that's why we say buffers that does not completely remove the effect of the pH. The only thing they do is they minimize or reduce the effect of the pH. pH is obviously the effect of H-positive ion in the solution. So, that when you have extra H-positive OH ions are coming, the H-positive ion will tackle it and obviously produce water like a neutralization reaction. Now, based on this, the reaction will go in uh, this direction. So if you have CH3, CWOH, and it is going to dissociate and produce CH3, CWO negative ion and H positive ion, that can also be produced from the 
sodium acetate ion, uh, the salt, which is producing that uh, ethanoid ion. Once you're going to add the acid inside the solution, the equilibrium will obviously try to tackle the H positive ion based on the Lee Chatelet principle. So it is going to tackle this H positive ion. That means that you need more of the acetate ion to tackle the H positive ion. So the equilibrium will actually shift towards here. That means the salt uh, will be dissociated or consumed during the addition of the H positive ion. On the other hand, if you are going to add an alkali, the equilibrium will be shift on to the right hand side to tackle those extra OH positive ion. And in that sense, it the more acid will be dissociated. So, but there will be not much effect in the concentration of acetic acid and acetate ion because they, they, we have a large amount of the salt inside the solution. Now in the second video we're going to talk about how we actually calculate the pH using the buffer solution. So please watch my next video. Thank you very much.